What's going on guys? Welcome to my video. My name is Ed Barcelo Philly, aka Johnny Sports Talk. And today I'm really excited as I'm doing something a little bit different. We're talking about international soccer today. And specifically with my team in Selección de Colombia. Over the past couple months there's been recent stories about different players uh, with dual nationalities. Um, now I'm not a professional soccer player obviously. Uh, but I know a little bit about this as I am an American uh, born from a Colombian father and a Nicaraguan mother. Um, obviously, I didn't have the decision that some of these players have, but it's definitely a decision that is, is difficult. It's bigger than picking your club. This is your national team that you're choosing. Today, we're going to talk about the player that has recently fallen under this category. That's Ian Carlo Poveda. He's an 18-year-old Brit born from Colombian parents. This kid right now is currently playing in the Manchester City Youth Development System. And if you don't know anything about youth development in soccer, Manchester City is one of the best systems in the world right now. He's even had first team minutes with the senior team of Manchester City this year. Now, Poveda has already played internationally. He suited up for the U15 and U17 squads for England. Now you may be asking yourself, what's the problem? Sounds like the kid's got a bright future. Sounds like the kid's pretty talented. The problem is, our U20 World Cup manager, Artur Reyes, is pretty stubborn, like most Colombians. And has already come out saying that Ian Poveda will not suit up for Colombia. A player who has worn a shirt of a different country will not wear a Colombian shirt. Now, as a, as a Colombian fan with dual nationality, this infuriates me, and this is clearly stubbornness at its finest. Now put yourself in Ian Carlo Poveda's shoes. This is a kid whose parents moved to England for a better future, sort of like my parents did. The kid grew up in England just like the rest of the kids did. He played soccer on a pitch somewhere in England, had England, England friends, played in an English little league, got noticed by the youth England uh, scouts, and played for England. How the hell was Colombia supposed to know that a little immigrant kid in England was supposed to be a good player? England as a whole has been progressive in the development of youth soccer players. Now that this kid's mature under this system, he's decided he wants to play for us. This, this would seem like a perfect opportunity to take advantage of this. He's clearly got skill if he's being called up by the English national team and by Manchester City. Now, I made it clear, I think that Bovea deserves a chance to play for us. U20 is the perfect opportunity, you know, this is a chance for kids to showcase their talent, and I don't see why we don't add Bovea. But in the end, I think that he won't get the call, and um, this is going to be a bad black eye for Columbia in my opinion. This mentality has to change. If a player from another country who has Colombian descent wants to play for the national team, you should be allowed that opportunity. But guys, those are my thoughts on this situation. Uh, let me know what you think. Do you think he deserves a chance um, or do you think he should just stick with England? Uh, guys, like the video, comment down below, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I plan on making an English speaking show for Colombian soccer fans. Um, I still haven't came up, come up with a name. I have some time. Um, I plan on making my first official video for our um, upcoming uh, friendly against Japan. But until then, guys, muchas gracias por ver mi video. And until next time, see ya.